Hey guys, what's up? So today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 worst types of customers in retail. I'm sure that at some point in your lives, a lot of you have worked retail, or currently, in my case, lucky me, uh, are working retail. And I do have to say, this video was inspired by Damien Skyfire's video, Top 5 Most Annoying Customers in Fast Food. I watched that video, I related a lot to it, and I was like, you know what? I'm working in retail right now, and I can think of plenty of customers that piss me the hell off, so you know what? I'll make my own video and come up with the worst types of customers in retail. So, this is a list I have compiled myself. I have come up with names for each of the customers, um, and we'll just go through them, and I'll tell you what I mean by each type. So, type number one. This is the classic, this is a classic right here. I call them the cheap price complaining customers. Basically those customers that will go up to, uh, I don't know, whatever item, they'll look at the price, and then they'll ask you about it, and then you'll be like, yeah, it's, it's $2.99. And then they'll be like, well, at this other store I can get it for like $1.99 or if I go to this store I can get it for this much or that much it's cheaper at that store and obviously what I want to say is well go to that other fucking store then why did you come here go to the other store buy your shit one particular example I had was this guy who was looking at this uh, type of alcohol I don't remember ex specifically what type it was but it was something in the alcohol section and he had a question about the price, and I told him, I read the sign out, what it said, right there, clearly. And he proceeded to tell me that it was cheaper at CVS, in which I wanted to respond to, well, haul your wrinkly ass to CVS then, and get it there. Not my fucking problem. I don't make the prices. You know, these customers, they don't seem to, to realize that you, the worker... You're not the ones making the prices. You just work at the store. You don't actually, you're not in charge of anything. You just work there. So, classic type of customer there. Uh, number two, these slow decision making customers. Now, this could be because in, in the department that I work in, basically what our department does is we go. We pick the groceries for the customers, the customers put in their orders for their groceries online, we pick them and then we bring them out to the customer and we load the cars up and everything with their groceries and send them on their merry way. Or not so merry way in some cases. But yes, I call these the slow decision making customers. Now I'll be out on the floor picking and I'll be going to get something. And of course there's a customer right in front of the place where I need to pick. And I swear they will spend centuries trying to figure out what they want to get. Centuries figuring out what they want to get. Like, I will be waiting there for what feels like fucking five minutes with them just standing there, staring at the prices, staring at all the items, and it's just like, there's four to five fucking choices. It's not that hard of a decision. Just just pick something and move on, please, so I can get to the spot where I need to be at. Uh, they just stand there and they stare at everything. And I'm guessing it's because they probably have their precious fucking coupons that they want to use. And they're trying to figure out which would be less and which would be the better deal and on top of everything else that they're buying. But me personally... I find those customers to be really annoying. Now, to be fair, I think we've all done shop, been shopping as customers ourselves in stores, and we've gone to uh, whatever section, the soda section, the candy section, the meat section, whatever, and we've had to observe and analyze all the choices and try to make decisions for ourselves as, as to what we want to buy, but in my case, it gets really, really annoying, so... Type number two, these slow decision-making customers, the SDM customers. Number three, the PA customers, a.k.a. the phone-addicted customers. Now, I think this is probably pretty self-explanatory, but basically customers who aren't looking where they're going, they don't know what's going on around them because they're on their fucking phone, and they're not paying attention to anything that's going on around them. There was a customer I was picking in the produce section, 
and there was this customer who was literally, he stopped his cart when it was really busy in the produce section, stopped his cart, was on his phone, and was on fucking social media. I saw it over his fucking shoulder. It's a good thing he didn't look up and look at me because I was giving him the dirtiest fucking look ever. If there weren't so many people around, I probably would have flipped him off too. Because it's like, dude, you're taking up space. There's so This is possibly the busiest section in this fucking store, and... You don't have any consideration whatsoever, so you're just going to stop your fucking cart and get on your fucking phone and check Facebook and Twitter and all this other bullshit? Dude, seriously, fuck you. You're you're wasting everyone's time. You're wasting my time because you're getting in my way of picking the groceries that I need to pick. Mm. And that, and then the customer, there will be customers who get on their phone, like there won't be something available, so then they call their fucking husband or wife or, or whoever, Hey, they, they don't they don't have this. They don't have this. What 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 should I get? Like what what or they don't even do that. They'll get on their phone, they'll just be talking while they're shopping, and because they're focusing on talking to the person, they move really slowly or they don't move at all. And it's just like you couldn't have fucking settled this before you went out to the fucking store. You couldn't have done this before you brought your fucking ass to the store. God damn it. Get it out of the way with before then. So that way you're not getting in everybody else's way. Please. It's so annoying. So yes, the phone addicted customers. I think that I some of these customers I can make exceptions for, but with this type of customer, I think I have every reason to resent and hate and wish that they could have a brick thrown at their fucking head. Okay, that's number three. Number four, the lazy customers. Now, what I mean by lazy customers is basically they ask where something is and they don't look for it at all. Like they will probably just like skim over everything but they won't actually use their fucking eyes like they're made for and actually look for the item that they're looking for they'll skim over everything and then they'll ask you where something is even if it's right in their in front of their fucking face now to be fair this has happened to me too where i'm looking for something and it's literally right in front of my face but i mean they put in no effort at all i actually had this one customer ask where the ice cream was and i was literally standing in front of the aisle where the ice cream was, we have three frozen sections, three aisles where frozen items are in the store. I would venture to say they're probably down one of those aisles if you actually bothered to walk around the store and find the aisles with the frozen stuff in them. It's not that fucking hard. It's probably the coldest section there is in the store. Maybe aside from the refrigerated section, but whatever. But yes, yes, and then it, it doesn't help that there's actually descriptions above the aisles that says, you know, what all is down these aisles, or it gives you, like, a generalization of what's down these aisles. It'll have, like, four or five things in the descriptor. And that's another thing, that same that same situation, this lady asked me where the ice cream was, standing in right in front, and I was standing right in front of the aisle, and ice cream is literally in the description of the aisle, and it's just like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Just fucking put a freaking screwdriver in my brain already and give me a lobotomy. Just fucking Christ. Use your fucking eyes, people. It's not that fucking hard. So, yes, that, that is what I classify as the lazy customers. The customers who don't look for anything. They say they look, but they didn't really actually use their eyes and actually look for shit. So then you have to stop what you're doing and try to find it for them. So it's just... Ugh. Okay. Number five, the electronic cart customers. Okay, these customers are also ones that really, really piss me off. They're customers who use the electric carts like the really slow, like the, I think they're, I think they're pretty slow, the slow moving electric carts that we have at the store. And look, look. I understand that there's some customers who do genuinely need those carts where they can't, they literally cannot walk, or if they're like really, really fucking old, I can understand it, but I kid you not, 80% of the time, 80% of the time, it's literally just for people who are too fucking lazy to walk themselves, like, like I swear, 80% of the time, it's just like these really, really, really extremely fat like obese people who are too fucking lazy to get up off their fucking ass and walk around the store and get their groceries themselves so they have to use these electric carts because they're just too fucking lazy 
and every time I see that, it's like, hmm, I wonder why you are the way you are. You're probably not helping yourself by doing this. It's no wonder why you've come to the condition that you're in. I know that's really fucking mean, but honestly, I don't give a shit. Because every, every time, uh, not every time, but almost every time, I see these same people. They will come to a spot where their item they're wanting is. They'll get up off the cart, walk over, and grab it, put it in the cart, and get back on. Every time that happens, I am judging that customer so hard. Like, I, I am, I am, if I had laser vision, if I had laser beams, they would be hitting that customer. I am judging them so fucking hard. When that happens, like, you can walk just fine but yet you're still using that car. You are so fucking lazy. Like, what What the fuck? I've literally seen customers, like, I kid you not, I saw a customer who had a freaking cast on her leg, who had a crutch, and she was still walking and pushing a cart. Like, if that, if someone like that can walk, can still use their freaking legs and walk despite wearing a cast on one leg and having a crutch, you can walk too and get your fucking shit and not take forever because whether you use the cart or you walk it's gonna be slow either way mm, i can't stand that i really can't so yeah the the ec customers the electric cart customers that's number five number six the council meeting customers Basically, you have a couple who will be shopping because for some reason you have to drag your fucking significant other to the store. I know I'm an asshole. But yes, these the, the, the council meeting customers, the, this, the, a couple will be at the store, and then for whatever reason, because they can't decide on something or whatever, they have to stop right in the middle of a fucking aisle or right in the middle of a busy section and just stop and start having a, a fucking meeting or something, like have a fucking conversation about what they want to buy or what they want to do. It's like you people can't like go to a fucking corner or like an isolated area where not a lot, where not a lot of people are going to be and have your conversation there. Is that really too much to ask so you're not getting in everybody else's way? What the fuck? It can't be that important. Oh, uh, fuck. That's really annoying. But not much else to say. That's number six. Number seven. And this is kind of along the same line as council meeting customers. I call this the family reunion customers. Basically, you get, you've got some customers who are walking, you know, doing their shopping, la da 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 And then all of a sudden, oh my god, hey, how are you? I've, I haven't seen you in forever. Oh my god. And then they start talking and everything. And they start catching up and talking about the fucking old days and whatever fucking else. Oh, Timmy won the fucking baseball game. Oh, Johnny just bought this new fucking car. Oh, how's the sex life? Like, it just, like, so, oh my god. Like, and then they do the exact same thing where they, like, get into a really crowded area or they stop in the middle of a fucking aisle or at the beginning or end of an aisle or both ends of the aisle, I guess it would be. And they take up the fucking aisle and you can't get through and you can't enter the aisle and it's so fucking frustrating. It's like, again... Can you not go somewhere else and have that conversation where you're not getting in people's way? What the fuck? <sighs> so yes, that's the family reunion customers. And look, you know, I'm glad that they're I'm glad that they're running into friends and stuff. I'm glad they're having a good time chatting it up. But seriously, can you just go somewhere where you're not gonna be getting in everybody's way, please? Just please. Does it does, does it have to be like right in the smack middle of the produce section or right at the beginning or one of the ends of the fucking baking aisle really god damn it so yes that's number seven the family reunion customers number eight and this is a favorite of mine dragging kids to the store customers because i guess Dragging your kid to the fucking store is a requirement. Again, I know I'm an asshole. I have no soul. But, oh, fuck. Every time one of these customers, like, I'd say, like, 9 out of 10 of times the customers bring their kids to the store. Their kids are always hyper. They're always running all over the place. They're getting in people's ways. I've, a few times, I've very nearly hit 
a little kid because they run out of the fucking aisle without looking either way. And I've almost run into them, and it makes me so fucking mad, because if I run into that fucking kid, it's gonna be my fault, it's gonna be on me, I might possibly get in trouble for that, I might lose my job if the, if the customer decides that it's my fault, not their fucking little brat's fault for not looking where they're going. You know, one thing that my dad taught me, my both my parents taught me, was to have consideration for others and, like, pay attention to my surroundings. I learned that very fast as a kid. A lot of these kids don't, like, understand that concept whatsoever because their parents don't instill it in them. <sighs> just waiting for all the you're-not-a-parent comments, but no, just, yeah, and then the screaming, the screaming and the crying and the complaining and the, oh, why can't we get this and stuff, oh my fucking god, just screaming, crying, it makes me want to freaking just bash my head against the trolley that I'm using and just put myself out of the misery because I don't want to listen to that for fucking hours on end. Oh my god, like, you really can't find, like, you can't, like, just find someone to babysit or, or if your significant other is, isn't working, just leave the kids with them. Like, if you really, ca if you can't leave them with a babysitter, there's no other way you have to bring them to the store, I understand. But, like, if there's any other way, just please leave them at home or with a friend of yours or someone that you trust to watch over them. Just please. Uh, I don't have to deal with so much. I don't want to deal with fucking crying and screaming on top of all that and making sure I don't run into little kids and shit. And I don't know. So, yes, the, uh... Uh, DKTS customers, dragging your kids to the store customers. Yeah, no. Number nine, no attention to surroundings customers. These are customers that don't watch where they're going. They're, again, this could be kind of related to like on the phone, the customers who are on their phones and stuff, but like, these are customers who will basically like leave an aisle and they won't like make sure that no one else is coming down like the main way. Like I kind of look at it as like driving. Like if you're if you're going um, if you're at like a uh, if you're going to turn or something, you're turning onto a main road, right? You look both ways to make sure no one's coming from either way. That's kind of how I view it in the store. Like you're coming out of an aisle, you look both ways to make sure no one's coming with a cart, and then you, and then you go out. There are customers who will just go out with a cart, and this happens so many times where I'm going down the main way with my trolley, and then a customer will like, I'll see a customer's cart come, come like going into the main aisle, and I'll have to fucking stop. It's annoying every time. It ticks me off every time, just to no end. This can also go for customers who just like aren't aware of what's going on around them. So they like will be standing, and they, or they'll or they'll be doing something else, or, or like they'll be pushing their car with other people behind them, and then they'll just like stop. They'll just stop, and they won't know what where to go or what aisle to go down. And it's just like make a fucking decision, please, so you can get out of other people's way, including mine, please. Fuck's sake. So yeah, that's number ten or number nine. Well, we're getting to number ten, and number ten. And this is another classic, rude customers. Pretty much the staple of retail and fast food and anything else that has to do heavily with customers. Customers that you name it are just rude to you because you work at a retail store, because you work in fast food. Basically kind of like what Damien was saying, they think you're fucking stupid. They think that, you, that you're like a servant to them or something. Or they just think that you should be able to... Uh, like, you're responsible for, again, like, you know, like, going back to number one, like, the prices, or if there's a sale going on and you don't have any more of the item, they're like, well, you should have this item here. Why don't you have this here? It's like, ma'am or sir, I don't control what is in the store and what isn't. I, I can't, if we don't have any more of that item, we don't have any more of that item. I'm sorry. My favorite is when they try to say, well, can I get a rain check on this item? And it's like, we don't have the item. It's that fucking simple. We might have it next time. Come back next time. If in the meantime, I don't know, go to another fucking store and get it somewhere else. Is it really that important? It's just a freaking, it's just food. Well, food or, or, or whatever other item. It's just groceries. Jesus Christ. Or, you know, you, you know the type. I, I'm sure everyone knows the type. Just rude fucking customers who will just treat you like shit and everything and have no consideration for you or the fact that you're trying to do your job. Or that, you know, that 
you're doing your best, you know, and that you're already in a stressful situation and stressful environment. But yes, those are the, those are the uh, 10 worst types of customers in retail. Now, retail is, the job itself might not be hard, but just, it's definitely emotionally and mentally exhausting. It's definitely not the, the preferred job, the, 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 the anyone's dream job, I'm sure. It's just, it's, it's, I think everyone has to go through it once in their life, but yeah, it's just, it's, again, job itself might not be hard, but the, but the, the toll it takes on you emotionally and mentally, the stress and everything of dealing with customers for eight hours a day, yeah, it can get, it can get pretty tough, but yeah, uh, that's it for this one, let me know what you think, let me know about your experiences with retail, if you've had experiences in retail. Or even if you're a customer in the store and you've seen situations go down. But anyways, that's it for this one. And I will talk to you guys later. So peace and have a good day.